What is going on YouTube? Hit it back making another brand new Crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. So guys, some crazy stuff has been happening over, I'd say, the past couple of hours here and yesterday's movement. So yesterday morning, I made a video, as you can see here, basically saying that I can't believe I was wrong in the fact as to when the breakout was most likely going to happen on XRP. You can see I wrote breakout extended for, what did I write, at least another week here. And the reason I said that was because we were starting to track, you can see here, I drew uh, these kind of descending channels here, these descent, descending flags, and we kind of took the length of time for each one, which was about a 60, nah, I'd say 45 to 55 days here for the length of each of these ones that were forming here. And um, we figured, oh, because we only have about 25, 27 days on the third, you know, potential descending flag that we're not going to see it for another week or two for us to eventually see that run to the the upside here. Well, now things are kind of going back to the way I had originally thought, which is a bit peculiar if you ask me. But looking at, you know, you can see here the one, two, now here's the third movement here. But you can see what's funny is the third movement here was the, you know, the the uh, descending flag here. But you can see we're back to retesting the resistance. So two days ago, we dropped. We fell all the way down to bottom support. We figured we'd continue this run for 60 days, then see the breakout here. Originally, we had these a little bit higher. It ended right about here when we were retesting moving average. And I said, we're most likely going to bounce off the moving average and break to the upside here. But, you know, as we saw, we were starting to break through it to the downside. I was like, well, maybe we have to hold off here and wait for us to get a better confirmation. Well, time's gone by now. And you can see we've reversed from that bottom support and we're currently battling that major resistance here, which blows my mind. Now, I've made it very clear, and I mean very clear in my previous videos here, that we need to break through this yellow band, close the daily above that, in order for us to buy in and leverage to the upside here. So if we happen to do that at any time today or next week, whatever, maybe in three days, it doesn't matter. That's the opportunity to buy in. And we're really showing signs that that could be today. So I'm getting very excited here. Same thing goes with Ethereum. Major swing right back up. Nice little bear trap here. Same thing with Bitcoin. We look really good breaking outside, coming back to the, <coughs> excuse me, to the price ceiling here. And the S&P reversing up. Very shocking. Very bullish right now. A lot, a lot of volume is coming into these markets. A lot of movement is coming back into these markets. And it's really incredible, honestly, to see how it's all panning out. So more information on all this will be later on in today's video. With that being said, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and let's jump into today's episode. So guys, quick refresh reveals we're up 1.5. 5.8%. We're currently at 1.2 trillion here. Super cool. They added a fear and greed index and you can see we're trading at about neutral here. If anything, we're looking pretty good good. I'd say we're leaning more onto the positive, more bullish side here than bearish side. But you can see some of these cryptos are starting to ever so slightly breach upwards here. Things like Bitcoin up 2.6% uh, over the past week, but over the past 24 hours, 1%, 1%, BNB, 2%, XRP, 1.8%. Cardano, a lot of these cryptos, you can see we're starting to see that pump upwards here, which is really nice. 3, 3, 17% on Litecoin, 2.9, 3%, on Bitcoin Cash. Incredible the movements that we're seeing across the board here. But looking at XRP, this is what I'm focusing on. So we've said in the past here, yesterday and previous videos here, that we've had what appears to be about a 60-day consolidative movement here. So I'm just going to nicely draw these on. You can see this one was 60 days, 59 days. This one was 49 days. And you can see the current one is at about 25, 26, maybe even 27 days here. Reason being is we saw this, we said, okay, 60 days, okay, 50 days. So let's say on average 55 days. Well, we saw our channel here and we're like, okay, well maybe because this was only 27 days here, 25 days here, we might need another week or two before we get to that 49, 59 level there. And that would maybe make sense. A week and a half left of consolidating, falling lower here before we see the break. Well, what's even crazier now, let me delete this, is as we've consolidated, that wasn't the original theory. The original theory was that we were going to see these break because this was going to be up here and this was going to be up here and we were going to come and re uh, retest the moving average right here. This was going to be the big make or break movement here. If we had broken, we thought we'd rebound off here and break out to the upside here. That was the main focus. But what's crazy is then we started to see two 
three days ago, correction lower. So we said, okay, it's time to extend our, you know, descending uh, flags here with the expectations we'd head out longer here. And now we're starting to prove that wrong. We're reversing back up. So it's incredible. Regardless, my, or my, you know, my assessment of when to buy in has never changed. It's just the timing of the breakout that has been changing. I have said, quote me every single day for the past weeks that we've been forming here, the time to buy in on XRP is above the yellow band here. And it's not going to change. It still is the same. So we need to wait for this to break through before we buy in. That's the focus here. So when we're able to break through this, when we can break through this yellow band here, that's the opportunity where we expect a long. So we are nicely reversing off this. We are looking good. However, you could see the resistance here. This kind of green sideways channel we've drawn is a big resistance. So until we break through that, you know, we're not looking too good. You know, we're not looking for a breakout opportunity just yet, but we are starting to retest it. We do look like we could be breaking through it. So I am getting very excited to see how things start to pan out here, because if we close today at like 48 cents, maybe a little bit higher, we close above this downtrend here, then surprisingly, we might see some movement over the weekend, if not come Monday here. So keep your eyes peeled on XRP. Obviously, we're going to be doing this trade on BidFi, the number one cryptocurrency leveraging exchange that I like to use here on the channel. You can see my BidFi shirt. Um, the best part is they offer XRP, which means we can leverage trade. Uh, you can see XRP, this trade that we're going to probably be entering today or tomorrow, hopefully today, uh, for a long, we could do on XRP. A lot of people don't know what exchange is to use that have XRP to short or long XRP, well, BidFi offers that. They can even, you know, like I said, buy long, sell short, leverage trade, create stop losses. You can see stop loss, take profits. So it's super cool they offer that. They even have a demo account that gives you $100,000 in Monopoly money to test your skills completely free, which means you can sign up completely free and then trade XRP using Monopoly money on a demo account completely free, test your skills so it's risk-free, test your skills, get familiar with the platform, test your trades. We could say, okay, when this breaks today or tomorrow or the next day, instead of putting real money into this, sign up and use the demo account and see if we got it right. It's that simple. If we can get five, six trades right, then you have something to go on here. If I don't get them right, then go, you know, then do what you want with it. But this is what I've been using. I use a demo. You can see we've already done some profitable trades. I've done a couple. We've made a 400 bucks in the demo account. But this is how I trade, and you guys can follow along with the demo account. So it's super cool. Um, and then, you know, totally your discretion. You can use the live account if you feel necessary. But I always recommend using the demo um, first or entirely. You know, just use the demo because there's nothing to lose. It's not real money. So moving forward here, the best part or the best, best part is the fact that they offer up to $2,888 completely free by signing up. So this is a way for you guys to even trade, getting some free cryptocurrency to do what you want with you can see right here, $50 perpetual coupon, which allows you to trade $5, $2 bonus, super cool. So you can earn up to $28.88 by filling out some of the same or, or filling out some very simple tasks that you probably would do during the same process of signing up for the platform. So make sure to check that out. Link down in the description below. Moving forward and wrapping up today's video. Very exciting. Yet again, we see Ethereum see a nice little pump fake yesterday closed us back inside. We thought we were going to be falling lower here and now we're switching up. We're very nicely seeing a beautiful little bear trap here reverse back up and we're trading back inside our sideways channel which is incredible and also hysterical we've been watching this for a very long time here i'm going to delete this top resistance i'm going to delete this too you can see clear as day here and i just want to extend this up i mean it doesn't really matter but i i think i just want to slightly extend this up because and i'll show you why you can see we've had price ceilings in the past this is a constant resistance big channel here Lots of problem zones, constantly battling this, constantly breaking bearish from it. So I'm hoping that we can break through this. This is the key to buy into this crypto here. You can see we have Ethereum here, which we've been patiently waiting to see a bullish break. We're patiently expecting to see the Elliott Impulse Wave completed itself. We're waiting for this to do this. And in order for that to do that, we need to break through this price ceiling. So my buy-in opportunity is above 1914. Then I can long this to the upside. Moving forward, same thing with Bitcoin here. Bitcoin is doing the same thing. Just recently broke out of its beautiful pen of waiver, looking for this thing to happen to this here. 
you could see we're kind of it's kind of foreshadowing. This got caught up immediately right after breaking out. We had the breakout on Bitcoin and then got caught up. So we're looking for this to break through price ceiling that we're currently retesting. If we could break through 31288, we break through this price ceiling, then we buy in because I expect to see this happen right after. And then wrapping up today's episode with the S&P 500, you can see incredibly well that we are starting to reverse up. Very shocked. I was figuring a retest of green band and then a rally or bottom support on on white and then a rally because we'd probably be catching up with the moving average. I wasn't expecting an early break, which we're seeing now. But regardless, I'm still kind of hesitant that we had higher. I mean, it could be considered a higher low. This could be the next higher low, but I think we should be heading a little bit lower first, at least here. And then I'd feel more comfortable about putting more money into the S&P. But with that being said, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.